Hi guys, welcome to another Excessive Gamer Review, my series of thoughts of current and maybe not so current games because some oldies are worth looking back to. If you're hoping for an overall score, a number or anything that remotely depicts any form of scaling system whereby you get to gauge the worthiness of the material, well, this isn't the place to get it, but what you'll certainly get is my most honest and humble opinion of what I think works and doesn't work in any given title. So if you like what you see, then why not subscribe. With all those formalities out of the way, let's get going. I've never been too keen on cartoony games, always preferring realism and complex character development as opposed to cutesy animals and bright colourful level design, but boy did I feel I was slapped across my visage with a 5kg smelly herring and totally swept off my feet with ukulele and a possible layer. A kid's game, that's what the retailer said when I went to buy it, and no, I can assure you, kid's name, it is not. Take the impossible layer for example, it is very cheaply available from the start, go ahead and give it a go, but you'll soon find out that without the B force field, the equivalent to Sonic sparkling stars, you stand practically no chance to be able to pull through the impossibly hard platform in perfection you will need to pull this off, let alone the boss battles between the mayhem. No, so this isn't your typical platformer, this one needs practice and honing your skillage in order to maximize your chances of at the very least not dying 30 times during the impossible layer. But that's kind of endgame. Let's take a moment to look at everything else ukulele and the possible layer have to offer. Beautifully produced levels with a lot of attention to detail, highly animated backdrops giving an immense sense of life and a lived in world topped off with fun AI characters and a vibrant colour palette making absolutely everything pop. The level design as expected in a platformer is designed with a lot of thought in mind, moving platforms, jumping over spike pits and swinging mechanisms are a day to day thing in any given platformer. So Yuka doesn't necessarily bring much of anything new to the genre, however, it does make sure to put it all together expertly and undeniably beautifully whilst ensuring it crosses all the T's and dots all those I's. The outer world is the hub area which is where you start the game. From here you can access all levels, you can search for hidden coins, potions and a plethora of hidden secrets and pathways. Exploration is obviously rewarded here and I found the outer world to be as much fun as the platforming levels were. As I've mentioned, the impossible layer is available from the get go. You'll find it right where you start the game, and again, unless you're into flat out torturing yourself, or you're the utmost brilliant finger pounding, calculated, ultra coordinated, super skilled, otherworldly, almighty gamer of all gamers, I suggest you freeze some bees before even so much as contemplating giving that a try because you will fail miserably, and you will definitely get frustrated to a point of smash controller too, if that's how you roll. Each level or level iteration, because several levels have an alternate version which is accessed by throwing different types of balls such as snowballs gathered from a bush in the outer world onto a book which represents a particular level, thus making the original sunny level with running springs and sprouting fountains become a frozen world with solid lakes, now climbable fountains and different enemy iterations giving a totally new perspective on how you approach things. Each level has 5 coins to collect, these coins can be used to unlock more areas in the map and therefore giving you access to new platforming levels and new secrets to find in the outer world too. Each time you complete a level you free another bee which then reinforces your bee shield which is what you need a plethora of in order to advance in the impossible layer. Team 5 have exceeded themselves here. I steered away from the original ukulele on PS4 simply because the reviews weren't proving to be fruitful. However, they have definitely got it right in the impossible layer. The AI is fun and quirky, the level design is an artist's wet dream. This is as good as platformers get and I urge you to get out there and grab yourself a copy because it would be an injustice not to. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And remember, if you ain't playing rock hard, then you ain't playing at all. I'm Excessive Gamer, until next time.